guys, thank you for joining us at Car System Installation. So today we're going to show you the Mobileye 560 installed on 2013 Mazda 3. The Mobileye 560 is a collision alert system that alerts you when you're too close to a vehicle, alerts you if you change lanes with no signal, so if you drift away from a lane it will alert you. Uh, when you're in traffic and you, uh, let's say by mistake, let go of the brake, if you get too close to a vehicle, it will alert you then. Also, it will alert you if you, there is any pedestrians in front of you. So, so some of the features only work from a certain speed. For example, the lane change only works from 60 kilometers and up. The same about the collision alert and other features. So we have three buttons on the system. The middle button here is going between the features. So first time we press we have the brightness so we can choose less bright more bright okay the next option we have the distance how far we want it to alert us from a vehicle so here we have 0 0.8 seconds we'll go again 0 0.8 seconds which means it's going to alert us when the system sees that we are in a stopping distance of less than 0 0.8 seconds the next feature is the lane uh, drift, the lane change. So this is the sensitivity. So we can change the sensitivity to one, we can put it to zero, or we can put it to two. The higher the number, the more sensitive the system, which means it's gonna alert you earlier. The next thing we have, basically this is how the system is now ready for driving. So you can also take the volume down, press in here, take the volume down for the beeps. Okay, now we're gonna go to the streets. When you start the vehicle, we have the two, we have one dot and two lines on two sides to show us the system is activated. When you start driving, we have only the one dot. So the system now is activated. Okay. Stop the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try to show you is the lane change. I hope you're going to have a bit of room to go up to the 60. So now, actually we don't have room. So now we have the system actually sees the car. You can see there's a car in front of us. And if the system doesn't see us pressing the brake, it will alert us when we are too close. So basically the system saw the vehicle so that we don't press the brake and alert us that the stopping distance is not enough and start a beeping. Okay, I'm gonna go again to the vehicle. You can see that the stopping distance is 1.4 seconds. And when we get when we get to the less than 0 0.8, we have the vehicle in red. We have 0 0.9, which means we are in the range that we wanted. If you go less than 0 0.8, goes to red. So the system alerts us that we are too close which is we don't have enough room to stop the vehicle based on the distance we requested. You can do the alert to a higher level like if you want to have it for 1.2 seconds or uh, different options. Uh, the longer the seconds you put which means you're gonna have more stopping distance so it's a bit safer. Some people like to have it 0 0.8 some people like to have it higher. Okay, now we're gonna stop the video. So now we are in traffic. There is a vehicle in front of us. So let's say by mistake, we let go of the brake. We get an alert. The system alerts us, you're getting too close. We let go of the brake. We get another alert. The system alerts us, you're getting too close. You, left the br you let go of the brake by mistake. So this is the traffic alert. It's when you're in the traffic. The traffic is moving slowly, by mis you look to the side or whatever happened, you got too close to the vehicle in front of you the, you're, not, you're not holding the brake, so the system can recognize you're not holding the brake so it will alert us that I'm getting too close again, we're going to show that again, so now we we'll get close to the vehicle let's say we stop here okay, and let's say I'm letting go of the brake, not looking at the vehicle and we get an alert 
again this is the traffic alert in low speed now we're gonna stop the video okay okay so now we're gonna gonna show you the lane change alert so we're gonna build up a speed to the speed that requires for the lane change to work the lane change alert basically if you don't put a signal and the system sees that you're going over the lines it will alert you signal and we got an immediately alert that tells us that we've been drifted to the left with no signal again the system shows us you've been drifted to the left with no signal this is again the lane change alert now we're gonna go make a u-turn and we're gonna show you the right lane The whole time you guys can see the system keeps alerting showing uh, vehicles in front of us uh, if we get too close the system shows us that we're getting too close obviously when you drive uh, slow drive properly you don't get too close to vehicles you don't get too many beeps or alerts because there is no reason to do that now we're gonna be taking left and we're gonna have some lanes to show us the right lane uh, alert Again, so we're gonna build up speed to the speed that requires for the change alert, change lane alert to show. And we can see the whole time it sees a vehicle in front of us, tells how far away from this vehicle. And we're gonna change to the right lane without a signal. And the system immediately alerts us. We're gonna change again to the right lane without a signal. And the system also tells us that I'm too close to the vehicle in front of me, so I don't have enough stopping time. If I put a signal on, the system will not alert for the lane change. It alerts for the vehicle, but it does not alert for the lane change. As you can see, there is no vehicle in front of me, so currently, oh, again, I drifted to the left. I drifted to the left, the system immediately alerts me. if you don't use the signal and you change lanes the system will immediately alert you again the system can see a vehicle in front of me it sees the distance between me and the vehicle for stopping time i'm in the right i have enough time so it will not alert me if i get close to the vehicle and I have less than the 0.8 that the seconds that we set to alert to stop the system immediately alerts us The purpose of all the sound and everything is to pick up your attention and remind you, hey, you're getting too close, you change the lane, you've been drifted. This system can help in many different situations, it allows you to be more aware to the road. Sometimes you might drift your head, look to the side, do something that for a second you didn't look at the road and that little second can be the difference between a, an accident or a, not an accident. This is why the system exists for the Mobile Life 560. 